Hello, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are going to play uh, Rich Harvest Farms, uh, another course in Illinois. Um, this is the second time I played this one, but today we're going to play 18, and we're going to try to break 80 today. Uh, as I work to lower my uh, my sc my score by you know 15 strokes <laughs> within a year, so um, we'll see what we can do. Um, took a driver there, hit it pretty good for me, 243 yards. Um, making some changes to my driver swing and hopefully uh, increasing some of that uh, distance. Uh, we're 140 out. I'm going to be taking a 9 iron here. Just an easy 9 iron. Got this one pretty good. Uh, I was trying to cut it in. It didn't quite cut as much as I wanted to do it. I was pretty happy with that. Um, got a little 8 footer for par. A little left to right. This one just lips out. So we're going to go on to the next. Is it, next one's a short par four. Um, par five, sorry. Short par five. Uh, I'm going to take the driver again. And, uh, two drives in a row in the fairway, so I'm pretty happy with that. Got this one well again. Another 240-ish yard drive, so kind of widened out my stance a little bit um, I'm addressing the ball about six inches behind the ball kind of um, a la John Rahm um, it's helping me hit up on the ball a little bit better um, this time I try to hit the green in two by using that three hybrid just got a bad bounce there so it's okay I'm happy with that got a chip for Eagle And left it about three feet away for the, the gimme birdie. So I'll take that. I'm playing this course um, about 6,000 yards, trying to get some confidence and shooting low scores. Um, I'm going to start playing some of these courses a little bit longer. This course, the next tee back is 6,700 yards. So it's, it's a uh, much, it's not a lot, but it's a longer course. So um, I'm going to start stretching out a little bit. See how I do on you know anywhere from six sixty five to seven thousand yard courses. Um, got a ninety six yard. Probably going with the fifty two here. Got this one good again. Yeah, I'm happy with that. A little short, but that's okay. Pretty putts are always good. Well, 15 footer uphill and just didn't play the break right, didn't play the pace right, but that's okay. I'll take a par there. We're one under. One into par three. Um, 160 yards. I'll be probably hit, I probably hit an eight iron here if I remember correctly. And got that one good. Just actually, I got that one a little fat, as I recall. Came up a little short. That should have been no problem making the green with an eight iron. So instead, we got a 24 yard chip. Let's see if we can't get it there. Nope, a little short. All right, 15 foot putt. That's not doing much. This should be. A very makeable putt. And this one is an example of a misread by the launch monitor. So it, the launch monitor saw me walking around and, and just picked up that I put the ball. So went in the gimme circle for a par, but I was hoping to try to make that birdie putt. But. So we'll go on to the fifth hole. Again with the driver. This one I kind of pulled a little bit. Um, don't think I got all of it, obviously, so that's okay. It's on the fairway. Got a probably an eight iron to the green. I'm 
even though I, I'm pretty sure I set up to draw this to get a little more yardage out of it. And I just didn't get over it. Didn't turn the club. So we've got a sand shot instead. A 21 yard bunker shot. Should be aiming a little right because the ball is on a left slope. So let's see how we did here. Yep, aimed it right. Just not hard enough. It's okay, we got a, a par chance here. 15 feet uphill, about three inches uphill. Makeable. Oh, it just missed the left edge. It's all right, we're within five, or within six feet, so about five foot putt for a gimme. All right, so we're taking the driver again. I got this one dead straight down the middle of the fairway. So, I'm happy with the adjustments I've been making to the driver. Um, I don't swing real hard. My ball speed's only about 136, so, um, you know, I'm not hitting it 300 yards, that's for sure. So here we got a, I'm pretty sure I took a, a three hybrid here. Or I took the four hybrid to try to get a little more loft to get over the bunkers. So we're on just a long, long birdie putt. These uh, long putts can be dicey with the Mevo, but it's been working lately. I just didn't get it long enough. So now we got a par putt. Not much happening on this one. It's just a pretty flat putt. Should be very makeable. And we got it to curl in for the par, so that's a good thing. Let's go on to the seventh hole par three 153 yards so um i do believe i took an eight iron here yeah and i got this one very heavy um luckily it just gets by that tree and if you hit the if, uh, the, the five key on the keyboard you it'll move the camera to directly over the ball instead of between uh, you and the target, so. Not much I could do with that one. It was a bad, bad place to have to chip from. So let's see if we can't chip in for par. A little downhill shot here. And leave it about three feet out for the gimme. So that's a bogey. Started out pretty well and then been kind of struggling. I'm going to take the driver again. 415 yard par four. And this one I just pulled badly. It's a risky kind of run when you widen out your stance. You tend to tend to pull it. Um, I'm going to take a little knockdown club here. Try to get through here. And I just clipped a tree. It would have been just perfect, but kind of making a mess of this hole. Now you're just trying to rally for a bogey. Yeah, not going well. <laughs> That's gonna probably be a 52 from this rough. And it's just I didn't get it right. Got it heavy. This show, this hole's been a struggle. Let's see if I can get it up there to safe double bogey. And we do. So kind of a kind of a crap show there, but shake it off and see if we can't par this next hole. Par five. Yeah, kind of rattled after that last hole. Should have taken a little break there, but I didn't. Oh, we got a long carry over some water from the deep rough. I, I got greedy. There's no reason for this. I should have just laid it up short of the creek. 
but instead I decide to hit it into the deep rough on the bank of the creek. So uh, this is not a out of bounds. They just give you the option if you want to take an unplayable, but I'm gonna play it as is. Why not? I do believe I took a, again with the eight iron, try to blast it out of that stuff and it just didn't work. <laughs> the deep rough on this course just kills you. All right, so we're gonna try to chip it here to save bogey. If we can chip it in for par, that'd be great, but I'm thinking more, get it in the, the, the circle here to save, at the very least, to bogey. Nope. Oh, it's, a, it's par five, I forgot, this is the par five, so um, this is for par. I thought this was a par four. This is short par fives on this. When I when you play the course at 6,000. Just miss the left edge of it. Oh. So we'll walk out. Kind of struggled on the back nine there. Five over. It's going to be hard to break 80. But let's keep trying. Hole 10. Taking the driver. And for some reason on this hole, I always just pull it. And... I do have a, a, a shot here, but you know, much rather be to the right in the fairway. So 63 yard, we're gonna take a, a 60 degree here with this rough and give it a full swing. Just get out of there and get on the screen. Aggressive, but hey, I'll take the middle of the green considering how bad that drive was. Got a big breaking putt here. 22 feet, pretty level putt. Let's see if we can't get it close. And that kind of lagged up there for the par. So we'll take that. Uh, on to the 11th hole, it's par five. Again, short par fives on this course. Like I said, I'm, I'm playing the course as short to try to build some confidence and um, gonna start stretching them out and play longer. Another kind of a pulled drive, but we're in the rough. 160 out. I'm probably taking a 7 iron here from the rough. And just laying up. And I pulled it badly. Now we did 120, I'm probably using the nine iron from here. I got it well, let's just see if we can hold the green here. And we're just off. I don't mind that, I don't, I don't mind these chips. Um, I could use a, a putter here, but I tend to just use the wedge and treat it like a putter. And got that one a little heavy, probably should have gone with the putter. And we got a little eight footer for par save. And we get it. Yeah, that's good news. All right, so I know a par three at 140 yards. Um, Pretty level putt, a level, level green to the tee. Uh, again, this is probably a nine iron that I just didn't get all of, but it's okay. We're on the green, we're putting. A little uh, left to right, a little uphill. Um, gonna just set up to the left of the hole here. See if we can't get this to go. Let's see if we can get in the gimme circle here. There's a little lag up here. Yeah, pretty good putt. I'll take that every time for 31 feet. So we're in for the par. Kind of settled down on the back nine here. 
Okay, we're up to the 13th hole here. Got the driver in hand. Let's see what we can't do with this one. Going down the left side and see if we can't clear these trees, but nope. All right, let's see what kind of line we got. Yeah, we're gonna have to play this one out to the right. Probably should have set this one up more right, but try to see if we can't get lucky here and wrap one, bend one around. I got it to draw, just not enough from the rough there. So we got a 46 yard uh, lob wedge here, probably a three quarter swing out of this deep rough. And we got it, let's just see if it rolls out. Oh, go in. Oh, scared it pretty good though. All right, we got a, another short putt for par, nine foot uphill, a little to the right. And we got it. Short putts are working well on the back nine. All right, now 14, we've got 131 yard par three, a little bit uphill. Um, probably have the nine iron here, gonna play it as a draw. Let's see if we can't get that to work. And we pulled it, so it's the right club. I just played that just poorly. All right, so we got a tough chip here. Gotta play this out to the left and let it roll down. And I just did not get it. Gotta own that. Try again. It's a little better. I, I don't know if that first shot was a misread or not, or but it happens. So we got a little bogey putt here. This hole kind of got away from me, and it's and I don't know why. It's a par three, short par three. It should have there should have been a piece of cake, but. There's another lip out. <laughs> so, double bogeys, two double bogeys in this round. This, like Tiger Woods says, you gotta avoid the double bogeys, you gotta avoid three putts. And, what do you know? I pulled it right into a tree. Let's see what kind of bounce we can get here and see if we still have a shot. Oh, and then into the deep rough. So, the news only gets better. So let's see if we can kind of scramble here. I try to blast it out of here and see if we can't get up to the green. Hit that tree, got lucky. Tree knocked some yardage off of it, but it's we're still putting. 41 foot, big break here. The break slows down at the hole, but this is an uphill putt. You gotta hit this one pretty hard. I kind of pulled that one off the putter face, but hey, I'll take it. It's a good lag. I'll walk out of there with a par. All right, so we're out of the four, 500 yard par five. Um, just gonna go right down the middle of the fairway here. That's the thought anyway. A little bit of a pull. A little bit of a pull. And then we're in the rough. So. Uh, this is a layup shot. Probably took a, a seven iron here just to try to put it down there. Leave myself a short iron in. And again with the pull. I got lucky. Stayed out of the water. All right. Got a hundred yards in. Probably going with a, um, going with the 52. A full swing and I tugged it that's what I do all right so we got a long putt for birdie here 49 feet Let's see if we can lag it up there it's got to go got to go all right well that leaves us a uh, about 
eight footer. Eight and a half footer uphill. A little left to right break. Let's see what we can't get done here. And all right, we get that to fall. So we stick with the pars here, so that's a good thing. All right, we got a par four, 335, downhill. I'm gonna try to play out over these trees a little bit. See if we can't get them there. A little bit of a pull. So now it brings the left trees into play. Uh, would have been a great drive if I had, had I hit the fairway, but it's okay. Now uh, we've got a 115 yards to the hole, a little bit uphill. Probably got the pitching wedge here out of the rough. Oh, and I clipped that tree. I, I didn't even think for a second that that branch was gonna be in the way. So we're gonna just have to take our medicine here. See if we can't get it close, save par here. Okay, uh, now we've got a 32 foot uphill putt for par. <laughs> so let's just lag it up there, a little left to right and then right to left at the end. So I just went with a straight read and oh, it just hits the back of the cup. <laughs> All right, so the 17th hole, we got a bogey. All right, well, let's go on to 18, 360 yard par. Four. I'm gonna go with the driver again. Just to the right. And I th think, yeah, we made it through that tree clean. Just into the rough though. <laughs> I wasn't really happy with that. But that's okay. So our 126 out, probably going with the nine iron since it's uh, almost 12 feet uphill. So let's see if we can't get this one close. And uh, make a birdie here. That'd be nice. And yeah, I'd say we're in birdie range. 15 feet, a little bit of a break. Let's see if we can't make a putt. This would be, if I make this, it would break 80, so. Oh, and we get it done. The, th the 79, Thir 41 on the front, 30 in the back. All right, thanks everybody. Like and subscribe.